वेलकम टू पॉलिसी बीच विद उसामा निजमानी आज मेरे साथ मौजूद हैं इकरा मुसदक हु इज ए डायरेक्टर लाइसेंसिंग लीगल एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स विद स्पेशल टेक्नोलॉजी जोन्स अथॉरिटी वेलकम टू द शो इकरा थैंक यू वेरी मच उसामा थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग अस इट्स अ प्लेजर आई थिंक प्लेजर इज ऑल आज बड़ी कोशिश की इकरा को मतलब यू नो टू रोप हर इन ऑन द शो एंड फाइनली वी मैनेज्ड टू डू दैट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच इकरा Thank you for bearing with me in scheduling this. I uh, really wanted to do this. Really excited about this podcast, uh, and I'm really glad we could finally be here to talk. No, likewise, likewise. So, Ikra, as we dive into this conversation, मुझे थोड़ा ये बताइएगा, you know, since you're the lawyer over here, although you have like different hats that you're wearing at yes. the STZA, but tell me, like, what really got you inspired to become a lawyer in the first place, and then to you know, uh, land up at the STZA eventually? That's a very interesting question. It takes me back down memory lane. Mm-hmm. Uh, but basically, um, I chose the law because I thought it was a big challenge for me. Always, um, I did my sciences. I studied accounting. I studied finance. And the thing that I kept coming back to uh, was the law. It really inspired me because of the challenge that it presented to me. And I haven't uh, picked up easy things in my career and in my academia till date. um and so i did my llb from the university of warwick mm-hmm. uh in england and um i was fascinated uh because every day um the quality of education that we received mm-hmm. and the experience that we got out of that uh with each passing day and year i realized that you know this is where i want to be right um and then i went on to uh do my masters uh, from ucl uh, my llm was focused on uh, corporate finance and international law because i found that domain absolutely fascinating you know Very if nice. you delve into international law mm-hmm. uh, there are no boundaries to how much you can learn in that right um so that's where i began the whole legal journey in terms of my acad- academic side um i was very sure from the beginning that i wanted to come back to pakistan and practice here interesting um so when i completed my studies i came back here um and i started um uh, looking at different options and ended up on the corporate side of things interesting so that's when your basically professional journey starts yes, as a lawyer journey. very good okay it started um, at a law firm i did a couple of internships and then i uh, started working at heather mota where i got all my uh, legal training wonderful um, wonderful it was really interesting from day mm-hmm. one you know your experience as a lawyer in pakistan in such law firms Uh, is challenging and inspiring from day one because your training and your execution happen together. You know, Interesting. from day one you're put into different transactions. Mm-hmm. You work with partners real time. You meet clients. Uh, so you know it's on the job training. So was it like, was it pretty untraditional to what you know, many legal firms do out there? Like you know, empowering their own associates in terms of you know going out and engaging with clients. I think it's a different market. I wouldn't call okay. it uh, untraditional. Okay. um but um uh, in other countries that are more developed mm-hmm. in these regimes uh you have training contracts uh you spend a couple of years in a defined role and eventually you have that trajectory where you become an associate and then you know your uh, level of responsibility is more gradual uh but when you start working in pakistan mm-hmm. um it starts from day one oh you learn on the job so you know your exposure is much earlier on in the game and so is there any interesting anecdote that you could perhaps you know throw in from uh, uh you know from your experience uh then as as a you know as as a new lawyer in the field sure um i think when you graduate um uh, you initially think that you know you've um studied for so many years and you know it all mm-hmm. and then you come into the field mm-hmm. and you start working mm-hmm. and then you realize that okay i actually need to start from scratch Right. There's so much I need to learn, and there's so much experience I need to gather, mm-hmm. uh, and that world completely changes. Um, you work day and night. Um, you know, you develop really good relationships, and I think what helped me from the beginning was I was always very humble in my approach towards the learning that I was getting, and I was very grateful for the mentorships that I was receiving at each stage. Um, and I had great coworkers from the beginning, wherever I've worked, actually. so that really helped me and so once i had my training at heather mota 
uh, I got this great opportunity to move on from there and uh, look after the wind power project port- portfolios for 4G Foundation. Oh. That was a completely different experience. Interesting. You know? uh, I, w- I was there at 4G Foundation for two and a half years. Um, I was the only woman uh, for that entire time period across all towers. Uh, Not just the only only lawyer, but like the only woman? Only female lawyer. There were other lawyers oh, in okay. other companies within 4G Foundation. Uh-huh. But just across the board, there were no women at the time. Now, you know, you see a lot of diversity uh, in those organizations. But at the time, at the head office, there was only one lady over there. Interesting. Um, Interesting. So the learning curve there was fascinating. Interesting. Uh, I had such a good time, you know, um, the grooming that you get and the completely mm-hmm. different experience. Because, you know, in law firms, you're still in your bubble. And then when you enter uh, actual in-house work, mm-hmm. uh, you're completely out of that bubble and then you know you interface directly with your client and you you know your skin is in the game actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, coupled with the experience that you get because you know everyone else was so senior uh-huh. in those positions you were working with uh, the generals you were working at the head office with their project inception teams and then you were also working with your foreign uh, counterparts in terms of the partnership so that was really exciting that's good uh, and I think there I found my niche so to speak which was to set up uh, in-house practices, uh, set up and establish um, those policies and procedures, uh, uh, complete everything that's legally required so, and move on. So, but now tell me about how the STZA is going on the journey. Absolutely, I'm just going to reach there. Sorry, you said, uh, you, you know, you, I, I told you I'm going down memory lane and you know, you kind of get stuck there. But, um, no, so, don't worry, I'll have you hop through your memory. Ha, I think uh, you'll have to edit a lot uh, of these, you know. No, I don't out, think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, maybe I'll have you hop through instead. Yeah. Instead of, you know, doing the chopping Thank in good. terms of the edits, I'll have you yeah. hop through. Yeah. So before STZA, uh, mm-hmm. just to keep it very brief, I was working for Imayat and Grana Group, which is real estate, construction and hospitality. And, uh, I mean, uh, my most uh, favorite part of that role uh, I was obviously looking after the legal department of 15 companies and looking after the corporate affairs of those companies as well. But uh, the thing I enjoyed the most was the tech side of things. Uh, oh. Because there was a lot of focus on legal mm-hmm. tech and generally just introducing tech and disrupting the real estate sector with tech. Mm. And so I spent a lot of time working on uh, working with the development teams to you know work on the interface for the technology Very nice. uh, that they introduced. Uh, but actually my relationship with technology goes... Much back. Um, 11 years ago, I joined this organization called Law Without Walls. It's a Miami-based uh, mm-hmm. organization uh, that focuses on legal tech. Oh. And it's a community of students, academics, mm-hmm. entrepreneurs, uh, business and legal professionals but, from but across I, the world. But I think you're, you still sort of like still continue with that role. Of course. Uh-huh. So I'm an advisor there. I often serve as either a project innovation coach or a judge and an advisor. Oh, wow. And each year we had the, we still have these accelerator programs. Uh, and Osama, each year when I participated in them until date, uh, it looks like you're in, you get, you're getting this three month window into the future of the world. Oh, wonderful. Because those things don't exist in Pakistan, right? Mm. We've only mm-hmm. started getting this tech uh-huh. space in. Uh, and so when STZA came about, I heard about this opportunity. Um, I thought this was excellent and perfect for me because I would get to work on my legal tech and tech side of things and explore that business side. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, also leverage on my legal experience and understanding and bring those two together. Interesting. And um, in my legal role, I get to create regulations and policies uh, that govern STZA's functions internally and externally. But in my licensing function... I get to leverage on my business understanding and my legal tech and tech understanding. Interesting. And so I merge those two together, you know, to create effective policies because, you know, legal always has to be a commercial partner uh, and it can't work in isolation. So these two roles together help me build policies and laws and frameworks that are actually suitable for the business community, that, suitable for our stakeholders. That's very true. You know, I, yeah. I think at the end of the day, you know, you do not want to start off right with bad deals. Yeah. Achhi deals hongi, achha business environment, do partners ke darmiyan, ya multiple partners ke darmiyan, jab tak nahi hoga, I think cheeze badi muskil ho jati hai, bilkul, aage chalna. Bilkul. But before I move you on to the next yeah. question, mere khayal mein, coffee zara pakad lete hai. Zaroor. Aap, aap coffee pakne, mein aapni chai pakadta hoon, taake. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thandi na ho jai. So, thoda ye batao, I'm sure, you know, people are starting to talk about STZAs, 
some of your colleagues have like went out there you know tried explaining ke stza kar kya raha hai yeah but agar thoda bata sako ke stza ki inception kaise hui kya uske piche muharrik kya tha aur kya hasil kya karna cha rahi hai matlab government why did it feel in the first place the need to set this thing up ye to nahi hai ke bas ek another layer of bureaucracy set up kar di i know you're a, you're an employee but still you know i want some kind of a candid reflection ke kya कोई चीज़ अलग भी हो रही है या बस इट्स जस्ट लाइक अनदर गवर्नमेंट एजेंसी आई एम रियली ग्लैड यू आज दैट असाम आई थिंक द रीज़न आई हैव जॉइंड एस टी एंड द रीज़न व्हाई ऑल माय अदर कॉलीग्स एक्चुअली हैव जॉइंड एस टी इज़ फॉर द विजन द विजन इज दैट वी क्रिएट अ गवर्नमेंट अथॉरिटी दैट फोकस ऑन एफिशेंसी that क्रिएट्स ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड अकाउंटेबल प्रोसीजर्स एंड दैट एक्चुअली डिलीवर इज एन आउटकम Mm-hmm. all cater towards the technology sector uh we're all really passionate about tech and if you meet everyone within the authority i would invite you to come and visit oh, some day and you know meet us uh, generally have a cup of coffee with us mm-hmm. um and you'll see that everyone is not only extremely passionate about technology in one way or the other and that contribution but everyone is um really inspired about the vision and the vision is that a technology is now and technology is the future and b we want to give back to pakistan we want to be an a startup authority that uh, goes through the challenges right. from day one understands those challenges then mm-hmm. and then removes those challenges for our stakeholders right so if i can interject a question ke sure. what's what's like kyunki you know on the belt and road initiative we are doing uh, special economic zones yes. also so like even to someone who is interested in the subject of tech and policy maybe i would still ask ke matlab acha if there is something that we could do at the scz what is different that we are doing at the stza so kya fark hoga basically in dono mein sure but so, sama look scz's and stcs both serve really important purposes and have their own extremely important mandates bilkul theek hai um scz's have primarily been introduced uh, again on the global model that mm-hmm. you need to promote industrial growth and manufacturing bilkul theek um and that spreads across all sectors uh not specifically tech uh but all sectors uh to give that boost and economic growth from there right um, stcz comes with a very specific mandate acha stcz is mandated as technology only okay and our focus is not on production okay it's a part of our mandate and if you have high tech production mm-hmm. uh that specifically caters to manufacturing and not just assembly and r&d and technology transfer in that particular production okay and it is directly linked to a technology mm-hmm. then that's something that scza will include so that also matlab agar main is tarah se kahun ki you would want to sort of provide that enabling environment for you know innovation ecosystem in pakistan yes. you know chahe wo incremental tarike se kyun na ho aur zahir hai incremental tarike se ho so like i said production is just mm-hmm. a small part of it our mandate okay. is much wider um, right. and completely different from scz's in terms of our focus on being in Could, technology acha ye thoda bata sakte hain ki what's different uh, when we speak of you know assembling assembling to pata nahi hum kitne saalon se kar rahe hain versus when you do manufacturing sure along with innovation matlab jo Jee. parts wagera jo aap khud hi bana rahe hote hain versus matlab jo hum uh shayad main ab khud explain karne lag gaya hu perhaps you can go ahead and explain ki kya difference kya hai sure um i think iske liye na i'm going to first quickly tell you mm-hmm. about uh, stz strategic objectives mm-hmm. and then i can explain how that leads into your actual answer um so stz has some core strategic objectives that we as an authority are going to be held accountable for mm-hmm. that we pass on to our stakeholders as well okay by who and, exactly um so our zone developers and zone enterprises that are going to join stz we okay. share these strategic strategic objectives with them and we'll achieve them together and, and explain what those are theek hai aur the zone developers kon honge exactly wo main aapko aage explain karti hu theek hai theek hai i know there's a lot of information <laughs> so i have to actually play catch up with <laughs> all your hai, questions uh, but very briefly so our strategic objectives are that um, a we want to focus on investment now whether mm-hmm. that investment is local or fdi related mm-hmm. uh, we want to encourage both 
بیکاز دا رول آف یور فارن انویسٹرز اینڈ یور لوکل انویسٹرز آر ایکولی امپارٹنٹ دین وی وانٹ ٹو ورک آن ٹیکنالوجی ٹرانسفر دیٹ مینس دیٹ ٹیکنالوجیز دیٹ ڈونٹ ایگزٹ ان پاکستان نیڈ ٹو بی کریٹیڈ ان پاکستان اینڈ دیٹ نالج وی ڈونٹ وانٹ یو ٹو ری انوینٹ دا ویل یو ہیو نالج ایگزٹنگ ان دا ریسٹ آف دا ورلڈ یو وانٹ یو ٹو برنگ دیٹ ٹو پاکستان سو ٹیکنالوجی ٹرانسفر از ویری امپارٹنٹ دا تھرڈ ون دیٹ وی فوکس آن از آر این ڈی دیٹ از ایکسٹریملی امپارٹنٹ اگین دا فورتھ ون از ہیومن کیپٹل ڈیولپمنٹ اٹس ایکسٹریملی امپارٹنٹ ایز یو ویئر ٹاکنگ جسٹ ناؤ دیٹ یو نو اپ اسکلنگ اینڈ کانسٹنٹ ٹریننگ از ویری امپارٹنٹ سو ہیومن کیپٹل ڈیولپمنٹ از اسینشیل اینڈ دین لنک ٹو اٹ از دا نیکسٹ ٹارگیٹ وچ از جاب کریشن اینڈ دیز ٹو گو ہینڈ ان ہینڈ یو نو ایچ آف آر زون ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ زون انٹرپرائز ایل این ایکسپلین این بٹ وٹ دے رول از آر ریکوائرڈ ٹو کمٹ سرٹن گولز اینڈ ٹارگیٹس ود اس فار دیز آبجیکٹیوز اینڈ وی وانٹ ٹو انشور دیٹ دوز any entity that comes within our ecosystem actually fulfills those. Uh, and then we have technology transfer and innovation because mm-hmm. you also need to do that. Um, so these are all our strategic objectives that we keep in mind when we're talking to our zone enterprise and zone developers. Now let's zoom into your question about production. Yes. Right? So if you're only setting up a plant that is only assembling any sort of technology, right? Uh, that is still good for Pakistan, of course, because, you know, that's still initiating your industrial growth in the technology sector. But we want you to go a step further. Okay. We want you to then create, start developing, manufacturing those parts here then. Because what happens in assembly? In assembly, essentially, you have parts coming in from different parts of the world, uh, whatever your source or supply is. Um, and then you just bring them together over here. That is good for our... Uh, sector generally but for for our country to actually jump up that ladder in terms of economic growth and output that we want and also country, innovation and innovation we want you to actually start learning we want our people to learn how those technologies mm. are created mm. Mm. Uh, for example i'll give an example so you've got semiconductor chip design and you've got lithium ion batteries now in your high-tech manufacturing sphere mostly right now we don't have the capability to do that here right very true we want to promote and encourage doing that over here So th- that's the difference primarily. Okay. It's not, that's why, like I said, we're not production focused. So is there a plan in place here, like uh, a broader, broader contours of the plan? Like how do we make that transition? I know I'm just catching you off yeah. guard, but like, is there anything in the pipeline? Yeah. Is there already something on the table to sort of, you know, make that transition? Sure. So we worked on our training plan mm-hmm. in this regard mm-hmm. uh, because STCA wants to focus on Uh, working on training our manpower with the ability to do semiconductor chip design. Oh, interesting. Um, and we're also working with some foreign uh, counterparts in terms of uh, some framework agreements. Uh, not agreements, but framework uh, LOIs that we've executed in okay. which we'll collaborate and um, take advantage of the shared learnings mm-hmm. from these. Agar and then introduce those ye, programs in Pakistan. And if I can ask you, which country is the world? Is it Asia? Is it Europe? Hai? Like... We've got the Asia region right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we're working on that. And our plan is to introduce in the coming year some sort of uh, training program that mm-hmm. caters to that. Uh, but, you know, um, we want to focus on creating that enabling environment. Mm-hmm. Spoke, right. Mm-hmm. Um, STZA mm-hmm. wants to bring and facilitate people together. So the government, the, our triple helix model is the government, uh, which is us, and then your mm-hmm. industry and your academia. And right. we want to bring the private sector, foreign and local together to do this. So our vision will not, in the short term, our vision will not be to give those trainings ourselves, but actually bring the right stakeholders in who can uh, transfer those trainings to uh, people in Pakistan. That's our vision. Okay, tell me a little bit about this. Like, what are the major accomplishments that you have done in SCZ? First, you have to ask this question, or first, you have to ask the zone developers, zone enterprises, because it is linked. Hai. جب میں آپ کو اکمپلشمنٹ بتاؤں گی پھر آپ کو Uh, entities in terms of our stakeholders that will come to STZA. One is zone developers and the other is zone enterprises. 
Okay. Um, and STCA's mandate is to notify and declare zones across Pakistan. Mm-hmm. And those zones are technology zones in different categories that are listed within our rules um, that are uh, that can range from science and technology parks to R&D parks to educational special technology zones. And it could be a combination of these as well. They're like 12 different types of categories and more that can be accomplished. Once STCA declares a zone, um, either on our own account, because we think that this uh, particular location, like Islam by Technopolis that we've declared as our first zone, uh, is strategically located to create that enabling environment and develop that ecosystem. Then we invite applications for zone developers and zone enterprises. Zone developers are legal entities that uh, will uh, come into the zone and develop, operate, and manage that zone. Okay. Uh, it could be one or it could be multiple depending on the size of the zone. So like just to take it further. Sure. So for example, Technopolis is a development ke liye, matlab, you would have zone developers come in. Isi se hai? Sure. So Technopolis is a special project. So Technopolis is our flagship project which means that the overall trunk infrastructure and responsibility for the zone is STCS. Okay. We want to create a model zone that then serves as an example of other technology zones across the country. Oh, so it so would be more like a zone, pilot yes, sort of a project. Yes, this is our pilot project. Right. So the trunk infrastructure is SCCA's responsibility. Mm-hmm. But uh, within the zone, you know, we've got a 140 acres land parcel. Within the zone for the mini land parcels, we'll have zone developers that will okay. come in as co-zone developers, which are companies that will come and build different types of infrastructure within the zone. Yes, my mind was this idea. ठीक हो गया and and then zone developers के बाद zone enterprises zone enterprises है right अच्छा so एक आपके zone manage build operate और manage करने के लिए आगे दो डाल के zone है. developers बिल्कुल ठीक है and then the next stage is your enterprises those are your key stakeholders which are your technology companies ah, technology startups your legal entities that are working in the technology space whether mm-hmm. they're new as freelancers or startups or whether they anchor large companies that are coming in. Interesting. They then apply for a license to us as well. So each of these two entities are licensed entities. You first apply for a zone developer license. Mm-hmm. The zone developer has to allocate space within the zone to zone enterprises only. Okay. And then we license those zone enterprises as well and together that ecosystem is created. Interesting. Uh, now it's just one iteration. Hai. And then we invite applications. You also have the option of having private zones, which means hmm. that um, as a company, let's presume, you have um, an ideal location anywhere in Pakistan um, that you think either has actual or the potential to have a good ecosystem enablement uh, for technology. Um, We've got a criteria within our rules as to what that minimum requirement has to be. If you meet that, you can submit an application that you want to create this type of technology zone. Interesting. So we'll declare, if, if you meet our criteria, we'll declare that as a zone. Mm-hmm. You will be the zone developer. Mm-hmm. And then other enterprises can come in as well. Right. And then the third category is existing infrastructure. You see, hmm. um, development will take a few years in okay. terms of these zones that will come up, right? Okay. Even on a fast track basis, you're looking at two to three years at least before these buildings are built and, you know, your enterprises are coming in. Hmm. So the on a complete win-win situation, you have existing infrastructure all over the country, whether private or public sector. Just uh, where IT companies are before, they can be vacant and So we can declare that as a zone as well. Interesting. And that's what we've done. And that's our achievement till date that I can really highlight is that we've got our new state life tower that mm. is on main blue area on Jinnah Avenue, which has been declared our first existing infrastructure zone. Oh, wonderful. And in fact, wow. we've issued uh, 10 licenses and we're in the process of issuing more to enterprises uh, that are completing their fit outs at the moment. Interesting. And that's uh, the first actual existing infrastructure zone mm-hmm. that is up and running. Interesting. Um, and we're going to start our ecosystem from there. So if, you know, if there are any potential folks, you know, um, in fact, following this, so what do procedure follow karna padega in order to, you know, sort of get themselves involved? Sure. So, I mean, um, you have to obviously submit an application. Mm-hmm. Uh, before an application, I would encourage that you at least send us a letter of interest or an expression of interest, just a simple letter but saying there, that this is what our requirement is. But is there is there an application already like... A given format on your website? Of course. Yeah. Okay, uh, so just before uh, uh-huh. submitting an application, you know, in STCA, we want to facilitate everyone. Okay. Uh, uh, we're different in that we 
uh, work with you in terms of making sure that you understand what our requirements are. Mm-hmm. We've got detailed application guidelines for zone developers and zone enterprises along with templates available on our website. Interesting. Uh, so you can have a look at those if you have any questions about those you can get in touch with us otherwise uh, you just complete those templates uh, you submit your application to us <clears throat> and then we get into our application process um you do you want me to get into that or do you want me to just uh, stick to our achievement <laughs> side because you But, know one uh, thing is linked uh, to the other i think abhi ke liye i would still want you to sort of like you know explain to us ke abhi tak like there are some uh, you know remarkable achievements that you've just mentioned right now but what other achievements like if you were to cite ke ha bhai in terms of you know international partners this is what we've uh, achieved so far sure um so i mean from an achievement perspective um, you have to understand when stca came into being right okay. we came under an ordinance in december 2020 mm-hmm. um and uh, after the ordinance um stca act was approved on 6th october 2021 okay approved STC Act came into being in 6th October 2021. It was Achha, promulgated, thankfully. right? Thankfully, you know, so ordinance. Oh, oh, ordinances ki matlab jitni wo shelf life kam hoti hai matlab isliye uh, if there is something under the Act of Parliament, to pe to kuch hai. So that happened, alhamdulillah, on 6th October 2021. Glad. And since then, we've been working on ensuring that all our regulations, our regulatory framework, our licensing framework, uh, all that is enabled mm-hmm. to ensure in-house best best practices and everything that we're doing. um and you know um it sounds uh, i don't know um how to put that out other than how i'm going to say it but this is a massive achievement on its own because uh, we're a startup government authority even any company that comes in as a startup uh, takes years to actually perfect those processes and i'm not saying we've made the perfect processes right now hmm. but we think that we've benchmarked them against uh, global practices all the regulations all the policies so far even the application guidelines that mm-hmm. uh outlined for our applicants um they're all benchmarked against technology zone practices across the world um sometimes 15 jurisdictions sometimes 14 sometimes 10 jurisdictions and depends on the subject matter and based on that you know we've come up with these policies so we've done all that work um right. that's complete from our end we've also declared five technology zones uh istanbul technopolis is one uh new state life tower that i just mentioned mm-hmm. is the other um we've also declared two in kp Oh. Uh, Digital City Pakistan and Park Austria Fashul Institute of Applied Sciences. Uh, those are uh, again science and technology related uh, zones. And then our next one is Lahore Knowledge Park in Lahore. Interesting. And what about Karachi? So we're working on Karachi. In- We've received some applications as well. Uh, side by side, we've also been uh, working with provincial governments to. Uh, um institutionalize our provincial framework and i've and also heard there's there's some really impressive talent in places like even balochistan and also gb to wahan ka bhi fantastic mm. so we've got a national rollout mm. plan approved uh, from our board of governors that mm. has uh, 14 uh, zones uh, to be rolled out in the coming year um and we've got more additions to that as well so we've got a lot of demand and excitement from all provinces and even um gb Hmm. and ajk interesting and we're very interested in you know materializing them but our strategy is that we're working with different provincial governments mm-hmm. and as soon as each province finalizes their provincial framework with us then we start rolling out the application uh, the zones for that particular province as well uh, so that's where we are in terms of our zones we've awarded these licenses but a lot of work in addition to our regulatory framework has also gone in outreach interesting outreach is very important you know we've been working with um technology leaders and partners um in the US in the UK in Europe in uh China and you know we've signed a lot of MOUs and LOIs at both the government level mm-hmm. and with private sector entities mm. uh to get those technology partnerships and how many of them have been like up and running matlab agar 10 mein se kitne like abhi tak uh, start ho chuke i'm just throwing off a figure like yeah, 10 mein se ye 10 to licenses the na but okay. uske alawa we i mean i don't have the exact number uh-huh. like i'm just like you know. this but i mean um, we're working with all of them in terms of our lois uh, we're at different stages mm-hmm. local and foreign partnerships mein um, but we've got dedicated teams for example we've got a dedicated china desk we had our conference uh, last week only actually Interesting. It was, uh, uh, organized by the china desk and the Ch- park china embassy over there in china and stca 
And would you believe, and I was also fascinated by the number, there were mm. over 4,200 Chinese companies, technology companies that attended that conference. How did you guys logistically manage it? I mean, 4,200. Over 4,200 technology guys Chinese companies like, attended that. How did you that. guys manage In addition it? to our consulates in pa- uh-huh. uh, Chinese, uh, Pakistan consulates in China all over and STCA. Wow. Um, I mean, it was... Hey, was it like a one-day event? Yes, it was a one-day event. Um, I mean, there are more details available on mm. our uh, LinkedIn page uh, uh-huh. if you want to find out more about what happened. I I was certainly following about it uh, over LinkedIn, but I didn't know that the scale was so big. That's pretty big. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I did see Hamza, you know, posting about it also. Yes, Hamza so I follow kar, Hamza but... is our director of strategic planning yeah. and Hamza yeah. is looking after the China desk in addition to other responsibilities that he has. Interesting. And I mean, kudos to him and his team uh, for that fantastic outcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, you know, these are some of the things that we're working on. And is there like some interest in follow-up to that very event that you... Uh, guys Gee, did at the bilkul, I mean, we're still working on that, but you know, we have uh, in pursuance of that signed a few MOUs as well. Then. And then, nice. uh, we actually want to see, we signed these MOUs again with uh, some core objective. Mm-hmm. Either we have these international, private, or public sector partners that want to collaborate with us in terms of coming into the zones uh, for any particular type of technology. Or they want to strategically support us in policy making and introduce those collaborations and facilitation mm-hmm. and those networks mm-hmm. with uh, other similar individuals that can come to Pakistan. So, you know, primarily ye hai. Interesting. Um, and, you know, they want to give back to Pakistan. Achha, so, I ye to Ikra, ki what are some of the major... Abhi matlab projects kaun se aise, major projects jo accomplishments ki humne baat kar. Like If you could just cite like pretty quickly ke, bhai, ye ek to projects hain jo abhi hum kar rahe hain tangibly. Uh, while our progress is going on, Technopolis, ki taraf, you know, building up an up-and-running model of the STZA itself. So what are the things in terms of projects? In addition to the existing zones, hmm. in which I talked about, we've also received, you know, uh, applications for other zone developers and zones across Pakistan. So we're also evaluating it. But on a policy and strategic level, uh, another thing that's really exciting is clusters. Okay. Um, and earlier this year, uh, the Board of Governors approved our cluster strategy. And, you know, uh, technology clusters exist all over the world in terms of having a certain uh, area, whether it's geographical area, that is then declared a zone altogether. And it's a cluster of zones, basically. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're in the process of finalizing our locations for Islamabad, Lahore, and Karachi. Um, and we'll be declaring in the next quarter uh, or two in phases, declaring clusters across the country. And what that means is that any technology enterprise that is actually housed within that geographical area can apply to us for a license. Okay. Um, and, you know, why are we giving these licenses? I think mm-hmm. that's, again, a very important question yeah. to ask yeah. that we've kind yeah. of skipped upon. So, uh, STZ is offering uh, incentives to zone developers and zone enterprises for 10 years. And those incentives start from the day you get your license. Um, those incentives range from uh, tax incentives on income tax, customs duty, sales tax, um, and then they go on to forex-related uh, incentives where State Bank of Pakistan yeah. has issued a special set of regulations. E- even some of those taxes that actually fall under the purview of the provincial governments? Yes, so you have to understand the incentives that are given within the mm-hmm. STZA Act are federal in nature. Okay. Except for sales tax uh, on services, uh, which is again a provincial matter, right? Take and care. we're working in our provincial framework enablement uh, with provinces to mm-hmm. enable those as well. And, you know, uh, provinces are at liberty to introduce and go beyond the incentives given in the STZ Act as well, hmm. as long as the provinces want to do it. You know, it's about incentivizing uh, and competing with other provinces to bring that technology to your province, right? Right. Uh, so you've got your STZ Act incentives, and then you've got additional incentives that we're working with the uh, provincial governments on hmm. to institutionalize them. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Uh, so we've got incentives under the STZ Act, and... Um, we've incorporated most of those into the local tax laws in Pakistan mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. actually ma- make them operational. Mm-hmm. And we're working with FBR in terms of operationalizing the rest of the incentives as well and doing that at the provincial level as well. So like I said, you know, a lot of policy work is taking place in order to ensure that these things are happening. So coming back to this, we're also working with State Bank. In fact, uh, State Bank issued our uh, special forex regulations for STZA. Uh, because, you know, uh, we really want to ensure that the investor gets the right experience in terms of protecting their investment and also ease of uh, bringing in 
uh, inflow and outflow of uh, investments from Pakistan. Because exactly, today this means a very big issue in terms of you know, uh, uh, you know, LCs ko leke, businesses ke, you know, they're 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 facing this um, stumbling block in terms of you know getting them cleared in the first place. So, इस तरह के issues को भी मतलब navigate करने में SDG would be helpful. जी, बिल्कुल. ये तो हमारे incentives हो गए ना. Hmm. Uh, we've got our monetary fiscal incentives and we've got SPP related, forex related incentives, hmm. right? ठीक है. But in addition to these incentives, I think the part that excites me the most about uh, why STZ is different and how we can help hmm. um, is that uh, STZ under the Act we're creating a one window facility. And what does that mean? That means that um, we understand that the one of the biggest hurdles for both local and foreign investors for Pakistan, not just in technology but in any sector, is the number of processes and hoops and jumps they need to make in terms of our regulatory barriers that exist hmm. Hmm. for entry into market. Um, and we want to make that process easy for anyone who comes to STZA. So we take care of those through our one window system. So when in terms of your uh, application, we ask you to specify uh, what sort of regulatory support you need from us and we facilitate you throughout that process then. Um, to that end, we've been working with different regulators at federal and in the provincial framework with mm. at the provincial mm. level mm. as well to create those linkages through SLAs, through MOUs, through frameworks on how they can integrate with us whether it's SECP or FPR or Customs uh, or uh, Ministry of Interior or BOI. Everyone is a partner when it comes to these regulatory processes. So one window offers that to you. And right now, uh, we've uh, I'm actually very excited to <coughs> share that we've recently signed our one window facility software contract and uh, we're in the process of building that electronic interface. And once that's mm. done, uh, once you apply to us, you'll be able to not only track your application online, but also then in real time, uh, see where your regulatory process are stuck, how long it's taking, uh, where your application is, so on and so forth. So that one window software is going to cater to you both at the federal and provincial level. Interesting. Um, so, I mean, that's what we're working on at the moment. And that's, I think, very exciting. And that's how... STZA will be different as well. Asha Ikra, you did speak about different regions. Yeah. Like, you know, Europe, Asia, North America. So, I want to tell you, in different regions, there are some big enterprises that are in different capacity with STZA or have already engaged with STZA or have already engaged with STZA. Yes, absolutely. Look, Sama, I obviously can give, go into names, no, but no, I can course, specify sectors, right? We've been working with some venture capital firms, capitalist mm-hmm. funds as well to come to Pakistan. Um, and, you know, we're going to award licenses to some VC funds as well. We've signed MOUs to that effect as well. We've also been working with global tech companies um, in the U.S. Um, in terms of understanding how they can collaborate with us. Um, we've signed a digital partnership framework with MasterCard mm. uh, to bring in those partnerships within Pakistan on the digital front uh, for STZs and cashless zones. Uh, we've done a similar arrangement with our local HPL bank at that level, again, in, from the digital banking and mm. cashless mm. zones perspective. Right. Um, we've got a lot of Chinese companies that are, uh, that are that have expressed interest. So I can go into those details. You have to tune into SCZA's <laughs> social media pages. Definitely. And as and when we award those mm. licenses uh, and sign those partnerships, mm. we'll keep you posted. But needless to say, we... Uh, attended the Dubai Expo last year hmm. and we received tremendous interest from the Pakistani diaspora and the foreign community over there as well. Um, so, I mean, again, we've got a big investment pipeline built up, not just for Islamabad Technopolis, but for the rest of the um, country as well. And, I mean, I'd like to mention that we're also working a lot on our defense tech side of things. Interesting. How exactly, Matlab? So, uh, you know, um, investment in R&D in defense tech is extremely important. And I think a lot of people don't, uh, at least us as Pakistanis, uh, don't have that much understanding of this but or knowledge about that. But uh, we're actually at the forefront when it comes to our defense tech. Like, say, for example, you know, if there are any foreign companies that are you know, probably listening to your answer. Yeah. So what kind of... Because, you know, at the end of the day, defense technologies are pretty sensitive. Yes. So uh, how would they have their confidence restored? STZ is perhaps a very safe place to, you know, sure. do business in terms of, you know, yeah. or, or, you know, defense-related production. 
I think without going into too much detail on mm-hmm. that, uh, our defense tech work is mostly related to our national partners, with our national partners. Interesting. And I think uh, strategically, those national partners can then define uh, what foreign collaborations need to take place at that front. Right. Uh, but we're bringing uh, innovations uh, in the defense sector to the forefront through STZA uh, by collaborations with different partners within the national security realm. Uh, so I mean, that's really exciting, you know. Um, and also a moment of pride to understand, you know, when you review such things, ke, you know, there's so much work and so much more potential that we can tap into hmm. um, from that perspective. Yeah. That's interesting. Achha, mujhe ek cheez ga. You did mention about ke STZA ka overall, uh, matab, kis se STZA apna kaam kar raha in terms of, you know, facilitating different partners ya kis se facilitate karega. But again, I want to sort of bring you uh, bring you back, uh, you know, to, to this to this uh, question and to slightly uh, expand, you know, before we conclude. Sure. Ke, ke, you know, in terms of technologies, are you only like focused on hardware, hardware, like even sure. chavo, innovation or production? Or, yeah. or are you also like, or the, or the STZA is also interested in, you know, looking at the software side of the things also? Very yeah, good. in terms of, you know, uh, providing an enabling environment to 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 startups that may not be dealing with hardware technology but you know again perhaps certain applications wagaira so um, i think that's very aap, aap log, uh, uh-huh. apna kar i'm glad you asked that so like i said for us um, zone enterprises are our primary stakeholders right mm-hmm. these are the technology companies that are going to come to us hmm. uh, under our stza rules We've got four, 48 different types of technology categories in which those tech companies could come into. Interesting. Uh, and high-tech manufacturing is just one out of those 48 categories. Okay. And we can expand those categories with time when we see new technologies emerging mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the sky is the limit. Uh, so, whether you're um, a startup that has just come into being and you're working on some exciting app, or you're a big company that's disrupting the technology mm-hmm. uh, sphere here in Pakistan. All we ask is that you, in order to get licensed by us and benefit from our incentives, our ecosystem, you have to be housed within the zone. Okay. Any zone that we declare. Okay. And you could, you know, we understand business needs. So you could have operations hmm. that are secondary in nature hmm. outside the zone. Okay. But your primary tech business has to come within the zone. So within that, just to answer your question, uh, if we look at our current pipeline status, just to give you an idea what sort of applications that we're dealing with, right? We've got software enterprises, we've got biomedical technology, uh, we've got incubators and co-working spaces, we've got cloud computing, we've got consultancies, we've got R&Ds, uh, we've got fintech players, we've got agri-tech players, mm. And the list goes so on. So these are like some of the thematics that the STCA would be working on. Yeah, kaam shuru ho Ye to hamare pipeline mein already hai. Achha. But iske ilawa, we've got 48 categories altogether. Hmm. Uh, any technology that you can think of under hmm. the sun, if you're working on that, you can come to us. Achha, like I'm sure there must be some, uh, you know, potential folks. Sure. Uh, you know, listening to this, watching this. Sure. Wo bhai, hum to badi eager hai in terms of, you know, making our investment. So, uh, when could they actually have, you know, STZA up and running so that they say, yeah, sorry, Technopolis up and running or they say, bhai, you know, we would like to go in and, you know, place our investment. Sure. So I think uh, what uh, it's a strategic approach, right? Uh, firstly, stay tuned to our uh, LinkedIn page and our website okay. to get updates. Uh, like I said, we will be rolling out different zones across the country in the coming year, and mm-hmm. especially in the next two quarters in terms of our clusters. Keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, do explore the application guidelines that are available on our website. Get in touch with us that you're interested uh, for a specific type of technology business, new or existing, uh, for a particular city. Uh, okay. Interface with us. We'll help you understand the system. We'll see where your uh, where you fit into the system and as and when our zones are announced you can apply to us so but, so are there like any I'm sorry to cut you here are there like any credentials like you would like to cite over here where people people can you know uh, go to in order to you know reach out to STZA sure so you can uh, drop I in know a, Google is like very helpful just <laughs> type nahin, in STZA so I mean you can but, go to stza.gov.pk okay uh, and you can also drop us an email at info at stza.gov.pk 
Okay. Um, and you know, you'll get back Are you guys like my really team. responsive or is it like throwing an email in the black hole? <laughs> We're actually very responsive, okay. you know. Um, even at the info email? <laughs> even at the info email, you'll hear back from us almost immediately. Okay. Uh, but I think at the starting point, I would recommend that uh, visit our website. We've got an FAQ section that okay. specifically deals with developers and enterprise related common queries. And those questions mm-hmm. have been developed uh, over the past uh, nine months based on our learnings from different types of questions we've been receiving from enterprises and developers, uh, applicants. So have a look at those, uh, look at the guidelines and then get in touch with us. Uh, join our pipeline. Let us know, express your interest that, you know, this is, what we want to do in this particular city. And when our zone is announced in that particular city, we'll, you know, drop you a line and update and make an announcement that, you know, this zone is now open. But like I said, in the meantime, if you have any existing infrastructure that is idly located, um, that has the good linkages in terms of industry, academia, uh, presence over there for technology companies, reach out to us and see if you qualify for a zone declaration and zone developer license for that zone as well, you know. So those are the kind of two things that you can start looking into immediately so before we wrap up sure uh, kya Ikra, let me ask you is saal ke liye ya agle saal ke liye koi plans hai in place in terms of you know ye kuch chand cheeze hai jo bas STCA ne karni karni hai bilkul um, so like I said humare regulations are all ready mm-hmm. uh, we're going to get those approved from our board of governors and then roll them out uh, we're also going to announce our clusters uh, in Islamabad Lahore and Karachi um, that's something that we really want to do uh, and obviously uh, start working on uh, operationalizing the zones that we've declared. Uh, and when we've declared the zones, unki applications of the enterprises to start. Karni hai, inshallah in the coming year, this is something that we're definitely doing. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, Ekra. Thank you so much for coming in today and, you know, having this conversation. Folks, uh, you know, I hope if you really like this uh, conversation of ours, please, uh, you know, drop us some comments in the comment section below. Or sati sat you know, uh, subscribe to our channel to get latest conversations going from our end or different topics which we will keep updating you. We'll try and, you know, contribute to your understanding about different subjects. So thank you once again for watching this and we'll see you in the next episode with an interesting conversation.